Hello everyone, my name is Dredden and we are in RimWorld today. This is the sort of kind of cool colony simulator kind of game. Um, let me just check a couple things. Okay, <laughs> I just had to change the resolution down to like 1080p. Uh, the scaling on this thing was too small. I can't read it from that distance. It's way too small. 4K. All right. Oh, wait a second. Cool. It just kind of looks a little fuzzy. So we can actually increase that. Cool. Uh, let's close this. That looks all better now. Okay, so uh, one of the, there has been a recent update for RimWorld, uh, RimWorld 19. Now I haven't played this since 2014, minus like a little bit, just to kind of wrap my brain around it again. So uh, let's start a new colony. Um, I'm kind of torn between Crash Landed, where you have like three people guys it's sort of the classic experience though i feel like rimworld has been out for long enough that a lot of people know about this this is apparently a new one um which might be good because i don't know how many episodes i'm going to do for a first introduction i think i kind of want to do the naked brutality <laughs> it's just like uh let's see here like i went under anesthetic for a minor surgery now you've awoken drop in a uh, drop pod crashing into a distant planet. You're naked alone and totally unprepared. Can you survive? This is nothing fair about this scenario. It is extremely difficult and death can happen for any reason. So he was talking about this, the creator of the game, who's pretty cool. Um, and that, yeah, you know, you can do everything right and still die just because you might get food poisoning or something, right? So, but I think we should be able to survive for 20 minutes, right? Right? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe not. Game can be brutal. Um, but it is a lot of fun, um, so let's kind of get into it. Uh, let's go just sort of builder. Um, I'm going to go commitment mode. Whatever happens, happens. That's the way it is. That means uh, that I can only save when I quit the game, and this is just sort of not very difficult. Uh, you get more time to build between random events, so... But there's other options. There's uh, like Randy Random, which means it just happened. Just like whenever, you know, <laughs> it's very tricky uh, at times. Um, this one's more for builders, uh, but this is more of the classic story type thing. So we're going to go with her as our sort of AI. Steve, Blackjack, sure. Sounds fine. Global cover, that all seems fine with me. This must must be not, eh, yeah, Earth-like-ish, I guess, for how much land there is. So, I'll generate that. Okay, so this is uh, the world map here, and like you can see, the map, like it's pretty huge. Um, you can use this screen to select your colony. You can also go on um, little expeditions around the world, and there is, you know. More tropical climates down here, more arctic biomes up here. Now I have played on like, I think it was the tundra, so somewhere in one of these biomes, or one of my my main game that I ever played, um, it was pretty brutal. Um, you have settlements, and I think, are these bandits? And these are tribes, I believe that's how that worked. Yeah, these are bad guys. These are just settlements, so they can be technological, and these are tribes, which means they uh, have not uh, tribal people, so they're not very advanced. I'm kind of feeling like I kind of want a, uh, I don't know, medium, medium difficulty kind of thing here. With a river, maybe some roads, um, you know, kind of like maybe in here, that might be kind of nice. Maybe... The rivers over there. Let me just figure out where I want to go. Yeah, I think I'm going to go on this square here. Um, it's not, well, it's not very mountainous. Something like one of these ones might be better. But I'm kind of curious about a river and a road. Um, seems like a very interesting kind of thing to try. So we're going to go with this one. Yeah, let's go with it. You also get to choose your people uh, who's coming with you. So you have to kind of be capable or you have to kind of worry about what problems kind of come with their upbringing. So like this guy's not very good with plants and definitely not good with plants, but 
you get this little backstory that says, you know, that uh, she loved solving problems with her hands. Um, her reputation for quality work, earned a job as a mechanical engineer, built and redesigned some diff things of different shapes and sizes, and um, yeah, eventually got yeah, good, good at crafting, construction, but uh, not so good at plants, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, traits, great memory, psychically dull. Actually, this is a really good character, in a sense. This means that uh, there's yeah, a certain psychic phenomenon that happened that can really cause your people to be really have some troubles. Um, yeah, I'm actually pretty good with this character, I think. Yeah, but you can like look at other ones and you'll see him capable of hauling. This is a terrible thing. It means they can't really help. It's not terrible, the worst, but it's they, they can't like haul things. This would be probably your worst starting character, I think. Uh, Iron Willed Fast Learner. Oh, this would be a pretty good character, I bet. Medieval Slave. Hmm. So, Military Officer. Capable of caring our animals, which means you can't care for animals and you're you're not very good for, with uh, other people, I think. It's been a while. Some of these are also new. Uh, I'm not quite sure which all the new ones are. But, yeah. There's different ones, like, um... Oh, it's not in there. Oh, Gourmand, which is about cooking, it's because you cook meals and stuff. Uh, Optimist, which is good, especially early on, or in, you know, hard times, because you, this character doesn't get as depressed, which, everything better for <laughs> her in, in the colony. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's just get into this. Um, if you have questions, ask me, or I'm sure there's somebody else in the community who can find out. The games are really, actually quite popular. So, uh, yeah, just let, let me know, and let's go with this one. Uh, let me change the name. Make it more personal. There. Red and stone. I don't know, whatever. Boom. Aside from mysterious goo all over your body, you are totally naked. Uh, with no preparation, no supplies or tools. Can you survive? That god. I do not know. <laughs> okay, so we are awake. Um, so you, I have the mod for more camera control added in here. Um, the unhappy nudity, because he's most people aren't nudists, but you can have nudists who actually prefer to be naked. Um, no beds, no ranged weapons, nothing. So this isn't good. Um, so there's lots of different types of animals. We have uh, elephants, camels or llamas. These are geothermal vents. Uh, let's see, here's a better, closer one. That guy. Geothermal vent, which you can create power with. Uh, we have the river here, and you can add water wheels to that. And I think we're going to go over here if we can. Um, we're going to take our structures, maybe. Zone. Okay, so we go over to furniture, sleeping spot, and I'm just going to put my sleeping spot in there. Great, what is that thing? Little mouse thing? But it looks like there's probably going to be a lot of food in here. So, uh, I think we'll also probably need a crafting spot. It's been a while. I'm not quite sure. Production, crafting spot. Well, we're going to try to own this later on. Uh, let's go and get some orders in here. Let's uh, cut some plants in this area. And uh, harvest some trees. Chop wood. Whoop. Get some wood to put some walls up, maybe. Doors. We, we can do some structures, which things like put a door. Uh, let's put a door. I'm not quite sure. Put the door on this side. Structure. Door. Right. Okay. Cool. Um, there's also some things where you need to define sort of where you stockpile stuff. So, yeah, I don't really know. I I could die pretty quick at this rate. Uh, I've got to figure out which plants are which here. And I'm not 
I've never actually had to worry about it on that level before, which is going to be kind of interesting. Myopia tree. I'm guessing I'm going to have to do some hunting, so I'm not quite sure what I can do here. Um, let me just take a second, maybe. Okay, we have to add bills, probably. Um, we should probably make a short bow. Uh, it says that I require work and some wood and some crafting. So I think that's pretty good. And if we add tribal wear to that, that'll probably help. And a knife is probably a good thing as well. What do we have here? We have details. We require just some work and 60 ingredients, whatever those are. So yeah, cool. I'm not quite sure how to change all the priorities for this, but you can generally go into things like this, which is, you know, how much they sleep, recreation time, and work time. Right now, I don't know that it's a big, big deal. I might have to cut, take away some of these harvesting for plants here. Uh, you can also forbid them from hauling things if you need. Uh, yeah. I wonder if there's a cave or something with a roof already. Um, yeah, anyways, there's also things like, you know, windmills you can make that generate power. Um, I also am playing with the fuses, because I think, unless they're added to the base game, I really like the idea of having fuses, because it helps you from having fires and stuff later in the game. Yeah, you, this is where all your colony members are, and you can check on where they are by double-clicking, and it centers them. And uh, this is their gear, what they are thinking and doing whatnot. This is who they're reacting with, what they're talking about. This is their biology. You go into their, well, their bio, their information. So, obviously, we're good at crafting and stuff, and we should be able to do that pretty quick. Nothing other than plants that we're not good, we're bad at. Needs, this is all the psychology and stuff. Uh, we are not comfortable, it's going down. Beauty, that's just the surrounding area. The biome itself is probably pretty nice. Recreation, the need is, or I, I haven't done much recently, so yeah. Food, I'm definitely getting hungry. Um, yeah, I don't know if I can do some hunting or not. Health, oh man, lots of. Not great things on the guy, I didn't really. Operations, you can add like cybernetics and other crazy things after you make them or buy them. The game is super detailed, it's pretty awesome. Uh, let's see if we can hunt that animal. Or hunt these two things. Um, a 10% chance of attack when harmed, and closer. Right. That's probably not a great idea to attack that thing. This other one, that little thing, that's probably a good one. I think I need to stop harvesting so many unless I can find a very specific plant. Okay, um, there is definitely ways to do different priorities for things. Oh yes, we're making something. Uh, but we'll check that later. There's tons of research, but I need a research bench. And that will allow us to make all kinds of things. Uh, like, yeah, pemmican, so preserving some foods, beer, trees, these are all like the lower end stuff. But then we get into things like electricity, which gives us like air conditioning, because it's probably hot in this area, uh, it'd be nice to cool things off, plus you can make food, like with a refrigerator, like a, that's pretty cool, hydroponics, which is super useful up in the north, windmill generators, biofuels, sterile materials, guns, uh, different turret types, different types of beds, 
different things for later on in the game, which eventually could lead to making a spaceship and getting off of this planet. So that's kind of cool. I've done it once before. I've escaped the planet. It took a, a long time. Weeks of playing a couple hours a day. So we could do that if people are interested. And uh, But I just need to kind of know. So let me know in the comments if you are liking this. And uh, do hit the like button. And ring the bell if you want to know more about when I'm doing these episodes. If I continue to do them. So yeah. What else we have here? This might be a place of ancient evil, which basically means that it's like a cache, sealed up bad guys, basically. Oh, perfect. We have a bow now. That is fantastic. Look at that. I should equip this thing. Hmm, what are you doing with the wood there? You're just bringing it even further away from the base. Oh, because this is like a singular... bot. Okay, so it is getting to be nighttime, which is not fantastic, but if we can put up some walls, the doorway here, then we can get stuff going on. I still think we should hunt this thing. And I think we need to chop a couple more trees down. That way we can build some of these walls and then put a roof on here so that we can not die of exposure so badly. But uh, yeah, normally you start with, well, I don't know, many colonists as you kind of set the scenario for, but the classic is three, and then you get them all doing different things, and it works out pretty well. So... Yeah, you can manage drug policies, like um, social drugs, no drugs, unrestricted, which, you know, kind of like prohibition to just, you know, whatever drugs you have, do them at your leisure. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, that aspect of things. World history, factions. So that's just, you can go back to the planet and create... Um, Form caravans so you could walk over there if you wanted. Get usually random encounters along the way, kind of like Oregon Trail, I guess. Yeah. So, let's see here. Minor break risk. Yeah, the guy is kind of starting to lose his. Uh, <laughs> himself he's getting a little bit crazed so which you know is it makes sense it's not a, a good environment I might speed up the night here all right I should equip this and I should probably prioritize hunting something this guy go get it then I'll also consider making a couple of other things. Generally, some of the quick and easy things to do you need are... Oh, I might, might get them eventually. Like a campfire could be good, depending on how things go. Can't, so I can do them inside, but uh, you kind of have to be careful. It could start. Fires and such. Um, minor brisk break risk. This is all the energy related things. Put in a torch too, if we wanted. At this point is sort of just a lot of extra work. But unlit rooms that when that gets a roof on it, you know, people don't generally like that, so not a really great idea. Uh, we need a recreation thing, so that's I'm just gonna put in some a horseshoe pin. We should also see if we can get this rat hunted too, possibly. Keep 
track of where it is. There it is. But this little thing is injured. Did my bow break? Yeah, I know, dude, you're starving, and you've almost killed this little chinchilla thing. You gotta just finish him off. Couple more shots. Oh, we got him. Good. You gotta hunt the thing, dude. There we go. Consume! This is where things could go bad. <laughs> So, but in theory, this should increase his food a smidgen, but we could get food poisoning or who knows what at this point. Alright, there we go. I'm going to unhunt this thing because it sounds like a bad idea. Orders. Cancel that. Oh, and did the structure, the recreation one, which is the horseshoe um yeah but it's a nice chill game usually uh you can slow down and speed up the time so that if you are finding it hard to fight um bad guys and stuff or make plans don't hunt rhinos that um you can kind of make these plans and survive they've also apparently added bridges which is cool. A lot of other neat, neat things. You can also like break down walls and use their stones so you don't have to do the stone cutting because you have to normally kind of harvest the rocks like these guys here. All this and then you get a stone cutting bench and then you could create stone walls out of those. So at some point we'll probably also get either attacked by some people, like tribes people, or some just normal guys. Sometimes bandits come through. Other times you'll get things like um, just random people will wander through, come visit you, or they'll get someone who wants refuge, and that would be like them at Thanks. Don't hunt the panthers, that's a bad idea. They will try to, you know, they'll ask for your help, and then you can possibly have them join your faction, and that's sort of one of the ways you can grow. You can also capture people who attack you and turn them into, you know, convince them to join you. You know, what are those things? Ooh, wild boars. Got some unpleasant things around here. Bat. I want to hunt that guy too. Not a whole lot of... We already did that, rat. Of good options for food. Anyways, guys, go check, take a look at RimWorld a little bit more. Maybe other cool places and... See if it's something that interests you. Let's hunt that tortoise. What is this thing? Another chinchilla. That's good. We can also breed them. Uh, turn them into like a steady supply of food by <laughs> murdering them. But we're not really going to. I don't think we're going to get that chance. So many, so many little things in this game. It's pretty incredible. Um, but we won't likely get into that right away. So, anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you want to see more, let me know in the comments or by hitting the like button a lot. That way, I know. And. I will see you in the next video, I guess. Yeah, okay. Talk to you then. Bye-bye.